like right now, kind of look down at the ground. Beautiful, do that one more time. This shape here is actually this shape. This is called peanut wood, beautiful stone. Artists by nature are resourceful. They need affordability and they will make do with what they have. So the idea is how can we give them that freedom in a space that's actually built for them? How can they be right downtown and stay in that space and not be priced out? So it was a combination of the conversations that we had and the visions that we had for the space that have come together. It's a studio building like no other. Des Moines has a history of punching above its weight in terms of arts and culture. We have an art center that's incredible for a city of our size. We have a sculpture park that's one of the best in the country. We've got the Civic Center bringing in shows before anybody. To me, the missing link is the permanent affordable workspace for artists. And I think what separates this nonprofit from many others is it's truly financially self-sustaining business model. Because we have a financially self-sustaining business model, that means our capital campaign is a one and done campaign. Once we raise the money up front to pay for everything, then we'll never have to raise money again. Everything on the turn in. There you go. Chin down just a touch, right in there. Up a little bit and let your lips part. Bring your chin up. In the most photographed generations that we have, we don't ever really understand and value the photograph. The demographic of Des Moines is changing. I think a lot of times what happens is the artists are the first ones to get pushed out because we're not necessarily there, you know, opening a restaurant or a large retail store or have the backing of something else. You know, we are, we're entrepreneurs, we're ourselves. So when this building kind of came to light and it was going to be at an affordable rate and it was gonna be spaces in a collaborative space among like-minded people. That is like awesome. Mainly artists morning, we have like glass blowing, um, classes and workshops. We've got artists teaching painting. We have dance classes, all that sort of thing. I'm taking painting classes. Absolutely. I love showing Des Moines what talent's here. I mean, yeah. you just, just have no idea. I'm still working on it. So it's right here. So it's kind of a lace, gold fabric. Definitely changed the growth of my business for the better. Um, I've had so much more opportunity just as far as exposure for being in the building. Um, Mainframe is a great community of artists, so it's inspiring in that way. And just being able to um, you know, have sewing lessons here. So I started teaching sewing lessons privately after I moved to Mainframe because People kept asking me, well, where, I want to learn how to sew, like, where can I do that? And I was like, well, you know, maybe, maybe I should actually start teaching. So it's been fun to kind of see how being a part of Mainframe has grown my business and kind of organically shifted the directions that it's going. Because um, I still have, you know, the, the private label collection and I do custom work and tailoring, but who knew I would be uh, teaching sewing lessons, let alone teaching um, for the fashion program at DMAC, which is kind of cool. Many of the other important and growing parts uh, of our community, the more welcoming, the more comfortable we can make it for those who are, you know, involved in the arts, involved in the creative class. And part of that is uh, finding a place where they can interact with one another, where they can operate their businesses, where they can do it in a way that is safe and affordable and uh, you know, I think Mainframe is the solution to so many of those needs and I think it just dovetails with uh, a number of other things that are going on in our community. I have a greater productivity here and I'm also amongst a lot of creatives who help to fuel that same creative energy. It's so much fun where you can, honest to goodness, like leave your studio space, go talk to somebody, to hang out with them for a couple of minutes and then have a whole other idea maybe come into your head. You know, that's why all the resources throughout uh, Mainframe is so important because, you know, somebody has some leftover material here. In fact, the reason I did the my paper sculptures just because somebody left me a roll of paper outside my door and said, 
I don't know, maybe you could do something with this. I just really like, I guess, looking at different um, mediums and kind of how I can use those on people's faces because that's my canvas. It's something very different, I think, than what a lot of the other artists are working with in here. So, um, I mean, I've done more here than I could ever do working out of my apartment, for sure. Uh, I thought that this would be a great place to, to go because collaboration is, is, you know, is probably one of the best things that you can do. We do have two more floors to go, probably about 100 more studios to add. I have 100 people on my wait list right now who have paid deposit, waiting for space. So really it comes down to helping fundraise to finish the project. We have proven ourselves to be financially sound so far. So we're proving the formula. We're just not there yet. Another floor will cover expenses and the final floor builds our endowment, which is our goal.